Hi, this is Keija from Visual Components and in this video I will show you how to connect Visual Components to WinMod. So here I have a simple WinMod project open and uh, this project uh, simulates the behavior of a conveyor belt. So first I have a motor block here and its function is to generate a speed signal as percentage value from 0 to 100. And as input I have two signals for the block. So first I have the motor on signal and then I have slow speed signal to enable the slow speed on the motor. And as parameters I have uh, the acceleration ramp which now is set to 2 seconds and then I have the slow speed value which is set to 20%. And the output of uh, the block is mapped to this uh, variable called conveyor1 motor output. And that variable is used as input for the second block, which is a transmission block. And the function of this block is to convert a, a percentage signal to a linear velocity signal uh, as millimeters per second. And on the parameters you set the maximum speed for the uh, transmission. Uh, so in this case I have 500 millimeters per second. So you see that speed on the output when the input is at uh, 100%. Typically you would get the input signals uh, from a PLC. So WinMod is usually used with a PLC. But in this case I don't have a PLC but what I have instead is a simple HMI uh, made on my WinMod project. So these two switches control the two input signals for the motor block. And I can test this uh, simulation already by starting the project on this button. Now if I turn on the motor you see that the speed uh, goes to 100% and on the transmission you see it as uh, 500 millimeters per second. And just to st test the slow speed, I enable that and you see that the speed uh, goes to 20% or 100 millimeters per second. So the output signal from the transmission, which is uh, mapped to this variable conveyor one speed, is the one I want to connect to my visual components and use this signal to control my conveyor and its speed. So let's stop the simulation and look the visual components model. On visual components I have only this simple setup here. So I have a feeder and I have my conveyor which I want to control with WinMod. And I also want to send something back from visual components to WinMod. And for that purpose I have the sensor component connected to the conveyor. So whenever parts go uh, through the sensor I want to see the uh, sensor status change on the WinMod side. So let's uh, connect these two simulations together. And first we need to enable uh, connectivity on the WinMod side. So you do that by opening the project window. And on the project node you right click and select properties. On the last tab called communication you need to enable these incoming connections by checking this uh, checkbox. And here you can give the port for the uh, connection and the default value is this and let's use the default value and click OK. Now on my WinMod project uh, I have my variables or, or operands now set up as locals and you see them listed here and the operands I want to connect are these two. So conveyor one speed 
its type is analog, I want to uh, send that uh, signal from, from win mode uh, to visual components. And to the other direction, I want to get the sensor signal from visual components to win mode. So let's uh, connect these two signals. And to uh, do the mapping, we need a, a new block on the WinMod project. And you can get that by opening the element library. And here under active elements and controller, we have this element called communication element. So let's drag that onto the uh, project and we can close the element library. And now I want to do this uh, signal mapping on the block. So let's right click and click properties on the block. On the transmit tab, uh, I define the variables that are sent from win mode to outside. And let's insert a new signal and then we select the type for it. So in this case, the speed signal is uh, its type is analog. Let's select that. And now we need to select the operand. So I put the focus on the operand text uh, box and press control and space to open this menu. And here on the list, I see my analog uh, operands and, and here I select the conveyor one speed. Now you can set the name for the pairing and this name will be shown on the visual component side when you do the mapping there. And now I just copy the name from the operand. You could use some other name, but I just use the same name. Now let's do the mapping on the other direction. So let's go to the receive tab. And here we define signals coming in to uh, win mode. And let's insert new entry there. And now my sensor uh, signal, its type is binary. And let's select the operand. So here, let's select conveyor one sensor. And also set the name for the pairing. And I copy the name from the operand. And now I have my two signals defined on the communication element and I can click OK. And you also see the operands here on the block itself. So now my win mode is basically set uh, for connectivity and I can already start the simulation here. Let's go to the uh, visual component side and do the mapping on this end. First, I need to go to connectivity tab and here you see the WinMod net uh, protocol here. So let's click that and add new server under that protocol. By default, uh, you see the host name and in this case I have the local host. And as port, you see the default value is the same as on WinMod side. So let's use the default value. And now we can already test the connection. And you see that the connection is OK. And click OK and click Apply. Now we can already uh, turn on the uh, server and then do the mapping for the signals. So first, let's add variable uh, to server to simulation group. If you don't see the server, uh, you can right click here and click reload server structure. And now you see basically the project and layer and the communication block name as the folder. And under that you see two groups, so inputs and outputs. And under inputs you see the conveyors uh, one speed, which we want to map to the conveyor component. And here on the visual component side, 
make sure that you have the behavior properties checked because now we want to uh, map this uh, speed signal to a uh, behavior property. So on the conveyor components and under its behaviors, we want to use the uh, path behaviors speed property to pair uh, for this conveyor one speed. So once you have those two selected, let's click pair selected to make the mapping. And now let's uh, map the sensor signal. So first I select the uh, other variable group, so simulation to server. And now I want to tie this conveyor one sensor on win mode to my sensor component and its sensor boolean signal. So let's select those and click pair selected. And we can close this dialog now. And let's show the variables that we have mapped on visual components. So these two. And now let's put the two applications side by side and see how the connection works. My win mode is already running, so let's start the visual component simulation. And you see that the speed is now zero and the part is blocked and it cannot go to uh, the conveyor. But let's turn on the conveyor from win mode. And you see that the speed gradually grows to 500 millimeters per second and parts start to move on the conveyor. And now you also see the sensor signal status. So it goes to true whenever part goes through the sensor. And on the wind mode side, we have the sensor signal paired to this LED on the HMI. And you see that uh, turning green whenever a part goes through the sensor. And we can test the slow speed. So now you see that the conveyor speed is uh, 100. And we can also test that we can turn off the conveyor. So now it seems that the connection works on both direction. So the speed signal comes from wind mode to visual components and the sensor signal goes back from visual components to wind mode and is shown as this LED. So this is basically it. Uh, this is how you can connect visual component simulation to wind mode simulation using this uh, communication elements and uh, the wind mode net protocol on, on visual component side. So that's it. That's the end of the video and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.